A settlement has been reached in the memorabilia fraud case against Giants quarterback Eli Manning, according to a report from Pro Football Talk. The trial was originally scheduled to begin on Monday after Manning was previously accused of peddling game-worn memorabilia that he had never in fact worn in a game. As Pro Football Talk points out, at the center of the dispute were messages from Manning to a team equipment manager asking for helmets that can pass as game-used. The plaintiffs said they were duped by Manning into paying for game-used items that weren't actually used in games. Now that issue will not go before a jury, and Manning has put it behind him. Prior to Monday night's settlement, Superior Court Judge Charles E. Powers Jr. said attorneys instead will only begin picking the jury next Monday, in a process that may take several days. The reason a death in the family of an attorney for Joe Skiba, the Giants equipment manager accused of giving Manning football equipment to be fraudulently sold as game used to collectors. Both Manning and Giants owner John Mara were deposed in the case. Plaintiffs Eric Kinselberg, Michael Jacob and Sean Godown have resolved all claims in their pending litigation against the New York Giants. Eli Manning, John Mara, William Heller, Joseph Skiba, Edward Skiba and Steiner Sports, in accordance with a confidential settlement agreement reached today, read a joint statement released by both parties on Monday. The compromise agreement, entered into by all parties, should not be viewed as supporting any allegations, claims or defenses. All parties are grateful to have the matter, which began in 2014, concluded and are now focused on football, the fans and the future. Matt Lombardo may be reached at mlombardo at neadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Matt Lombardonville.